Hello, buddy, and welcome! This is round number five of season one of the Panasonic Light series. Yes, I am here today to commentate this race. Um, our normal commentator is out for the next few days, so I'm gonna have to take over for a single race, but that is fine. Ugh. We look at Victory Lane here in Texas World. Someone's gonna be there by the end of the day, as we will have 50 laps around this very... It's a large speedway, but it's only about 35 second laps. Uh, we expect it not to be too long of a race, but... Ugh. Lots of people lined up here today to try to get their chance at a win. On pole position today, it's Stefan Robbins in the 76 car for Thunder Sport GP taking pole position. Uh, if I'm correct, Stefan Robbins hasn't had an absolutely amazing season, but he's trying to pull together a good result here today alongside Jacob Long for... Yeah, I'm still kind of trying to get used to this. <laughs> Alongside Jacob Long for Gatlin Downey Motorsports. Gatlin Downey Motorsports, one of the lowest ones on the grid, so this team trying to turn it around here today. And getting a front row start is one way to do it. On row two, you got Connor Monaco, the, if I'm correct, the brother of Ryan and Eric Monaco in Elite Series. He's trying to live up to his brother's name. Alongside Melody Bauer, someone who has struggled this season. Uh, even though she was one of the big names that everyone thought was going to be good because of her results in the Royale and the Sunoco Elite Series. But she's here today trying to pull together a good result to kickstart her season. She starts on row two. On row three, another big name from uh, the Royale's last season, Val Vladimir Petrov in the 24. Uh, Petrov driving for Flying Aces Racing. Um, I don't see his teammate nearby. I don't know, teammate back here, a few rows back, but Byron Petrov starting row three, we'll see if he can pull together a good result. Uh, alongside Darren Carter in the 63, who has been rumored to take uh, Jack Halleck's place at Maverick once uh, this once he retires after the end of the season in Sunoco Elite Series. So Carter trying to pull together a good result to try to prove that he deserves that spot in Elites. On row four, we got uh, Wolfstein Von Schaefer, your Road America winner. Absolutely dominated in Road America. He seems that he's a threat on road courses, but we're on a big speedway today. We'll see how uh, Wolfstein can fare today. He starts row four, so he could pull together a good result. Alongside Alex Benyako, who after uh, mainly focusing on keeping Shepard alive in the elites, now trying to pull together some good results for himself. I believe he's around uh, 20th place in points. I may be wrong about that. Uh, but he's trying to get up through the points positions. He's already theorized to be taking a spot next season in Elites. Trying to just make his resume even better for the better teams. On row five, you have um, the, if I'm correct, the brother of three-time championship podium uh, Elites member, Paul Jackson. This is Max Jackson in his number nine century Lake car. Max Jackson, I'm not exactly sure how his season's gone so far. You're right. He drives for Nexus Motorsports. Uh, his teammate to the points leader, Roman Rahal. So it's got to be a confidence booster knowing he's got a very experienced guy as his teammate. We'll see how he can pull it together today. Alongside Chase Dunbar, the team owner, partial team owner of uh, Dunbar Vincent Motorsports. Uh, that team, they've talked about moving up to elites. They have some work to do, but they are pretty high up in points, but... At the time being, they're not in position to move up. We'll see if they can pull together a good result today. His teammate, Jack Benyako, uh, starting right behind him. So this team could pull together a good result. And if they can, they could move up to elites eventually if they're able to keep performances going. Uh, as we mentioned, Roman Rahal, your points leader. Roman Rahal, big name in elites. One that I recognize very well. I obviously commentated watching him for the first four seasons. Roman Rahal now in lights, proving that he deserves to come back up to elites. In his flex seal number 36 car again, teammate to Max Jackson. Uh, person with the most momentum, Yoki Lethanen coming off that doubles bowl win. Trying to possibly get a win here. A win here in Texas World to try to get the double. It would be the first double in Panasonic Lights history. If he could pull it off. He starts near the rear of the grid though. But he's been... Pretty fast in practice, I would say. Not amazingly fast, but 
pretty fast. You could hunt through the pack. Roman Ray held definitely the fastest this weekend from the practice session. Uh, there's Roger Ray. If I'm correct, he's like second in points, third points. Very impressive this season. Wasn't very impressive in his elite runs, but he, he's definitely getting more experience here than he was there. And maybe it'll be his turn to move back up after this season is over. But as the pace car rolls in, Stefan Robbins for Thundersport GP will lead it down to the green flag here in Texas World. 50 laps. Green flag is in the air. Expect an early caution is the big thing that's been noticed here. An early caution, possibly another one or two after that, so... We're all waiting for it, but as we come into turn one, it's Stefan Robbins. Getting the jump on long as he'll come out of turn two and will be in the lead. Now being chased by Connor Monaco. Is Monaco down the inside of Jacob Long and he'll get it and go right down the inside of Robbins. Can he get the nose? Yes, he will as he comes down the inside in three and four and he will lead lap one here in Texas World. As they come down, Max Jackson making some move, Roger Ray making some moves back there, but Petrov going to be trying to make the move for the lead. You get your leaderboard up. I did just see some contact in the back that might have been what caused a caution. Nope, doesn't look like it. It looked like it was just a bobble, but it looks like we're good. As we come down the back straight, we expect it soon within the next lap or two, because it's chaos in the first few laps, but at Petrov and Jackson... There is Madison Fuller coming in on Roger Ray for third. There is a, what is it? Milo Red Ryback in fourth. There's Sebastian Morandi. Uh, Morandi, haven't seen that name myself since uh, season two of Sonoko Elite Series when he drove for Spark Auto Racing. But Petrov leads. We have no caution yet. Petrov down the back straightaway. Now it is Jackson's turn to defend from Dan Luisen. Luisen shown in elites that he was pretty good at these long tracks. As he's now in the second position. We'll see if he can pull together and get to Petrov. But there's a big battle behind now. For third, that's Patrick Smith, the Pensacola winner. Pushed by what seems to be yeah, Diego Yepes. As Yepes will go down the inside of Smith. This is for third. But they they should start focusing on chasing these two. But Dan Luisen down the inside of Vladimir Petrov as we'll get a lead change. Here in Texas World. Luisen now in the lead. There's Johan Art in the 29. Uh, Johan Art. Pretty sure his teammate is someone pretty important. Just can't put my finger on it. I'm not too used to this grid right now. Uh, Mark Nutt and Daniel Bouchard now did battle. It's Bouchard now coming into third. Uh, Bouchard was your round two winner. I forget exactly where they went. But he is a winner. There is a new name here. That is Taylor. Uh... I forget the first name already. I'm sorry. I'm just still trying to use this name. But she is new on the grid. As Caution is out. They're starting to slow down. Um, let's go see what happened. Then we'll talk about her in just a moment. Milo Red Ryback would get in a four wide. Including Max Jackson. And would just get a little too close to Jackson. Tap him. And then Wolfstein would tap Milo Red. And they'd both go around. I believe they both stay in the race. But it's bad luck for these two. They're going to have a ton of work to do and possibly a lot of damage for Schaefer for that front end hit. There was a stack up as we enter the pits as that's Alex Benyako getting together with Daniel Bouchard and Julio Caesar. There's a little bit of commotion and all three of them would drop out of the race due to the incident. This pit road is known for a lot of contact and that was just an unfortunate thing series of events for them but it gave Petrov a huge lead in the pits and Petrov will lead it out Vladimir Petrov leads out of pit lane then it seems it's Mark Nutt Ryan Griffin uh, Taylor I forget the first name 
of Taylor. Uh, but she is replacing... What is wrong with me? <laughs> He's the current replacement driver of the driver, the original driver of the 61 who broke his leg. Daryl Nash, that's what it is. Um, he broke his leg and she'll be taking his place for the rest of the season as he will not be cleared to race for the rest of the season. So everyone's coming out of pit lane. And that looks like he may have some damage and he may have to re-enter. He's thinking about it. He will. There was a lot of contact on pit lane, so a lot of people trying to solve it out. We'll be back when we go to the green. So due to that huge stack up on pit lane, uh, we had a lot of people drop out. Wolfstein von Schaefer did drop out from his original incident. That front end damage was just a little too much for him, and he was forced to retire. Alex Bignaco, Julio Caesar has not had the best season so far, and it's just gonna continue to be pretty bad for him. Uh, Daniel Bouchard, and Milo Ryback, I believe Ryback might have actually retired from his incident. Not exactly sure. Those are all the people who dropped out. Some people have damage going forward from that stack up on pit lane, including Benyako and the others. But it'll be Vladimir Petrov leading it back to the green flag. Lap 9 of 50. Uh, we expect maybe one more caution before the end of this race, because now they're going to spread out a little bit. But green flag back in the air for Petrov. Let's start out Taylor behind. Taylor looking to get down the inside of Petrov, but here comes Jack Benyako making a move already on Ormond. Ormond. He's an Ormond. We're also looking for people like Roman Rahal back here. Yeah, these are the people with damage in this race. I believe Caution did come back out. Alright, so Caution is back in the air. Uh, apparently... The flagman called it a lap too early, the pace car. They did not have everyone caught up yet, so they are going to restack it. So we'll be back once we actually go green. Once everyone's actually stacked into the order. Alright, everyone's stacked in this time. Everyone's good to go. <laughs> that first little one was a little bit of chaos, but it's just because they missed a few people off the end who needed to restack. All right, back to a lap 15 now, as they need to get a few people back up here. Uh, Vladimir Petrov will lead it back to the green flag. This is technically our second caution, but we'll count it as a first, just because it was a mistake out of the flagman. But, green flag in the air. Again, at Texas World. Max Jackson trying to get his lap back. He was involved in the original incident with uh, Myra Ryback and Wolstein von Schaefer. He had a little bit of damage there, so he had to go lap down to repair it. But Jackson trying to get back on the lead lap. He's back down the inside of the 24. This is helping Roman Rahal, who's using these lap cars as a pick, along with Jack Benyako. As your original leader, Petrov is trapped on the outside. It looks like through all this, Jack Benyako is going to take the lead. He will. Petrov just could not find a way low, and that's just unlucky. Jack Benyako down the inside of the lap car. Chase Dunbars, he'll take... As he's in the lead, he'll take over the last lap car, and he will be in clean air. That's Darren Carter and Roger Ray taking second and third is Roman Rahal. Stuck behind Dunbar's. He'll slip low. Possibly try to slip in front of Stefan Robbins. No. Roger Ray got second in both of the first two races this season. Dropped off a little bit since then, but right now trying to pull together a win for Sabersport. Sabersport has not won this season. Again, even though they've come so close. But now Ray being challenged by Fuller and Morandi. Sebastian Morandi. The nickname Morelevant, since he is, has been irrelevant in his entire career. But now he's trying to turn that around as he is down the inside for the lead on Fuller. Both of Thundersport are behind. It's the Elvin Aller and Stefan Robbins, but it's Morandi, your new leader. But Vladimir Petrov 
Back for the lead, there's Leftenen coming out of the pits for a third time in a row. But Petrov comes back to the lead after falling back due to a lap car. And now it's Petrov versus Rahal for the lead. There is Connor Monaco coming into third. Overtaking Jack Bignacco, Melody Bowers, and Roger Ray on their way up. This pack is chaos right now, but I'm surprised we aren't seeing any cautions yet. Wouldn't doubt if there was one. Fast slap was uh, Alex Bignacco, but he's out of the race now. Connor Monaco down the inside for the lead. His teammate, uh, Daniel Bouchard, already won a race this season. And now he's trying to get one for himself. Roger Ray slips over in a second. Already lost to a Monaco Dynasty car this year. Not sure if he wants to lose to another one, but I'm pretty sure the answer is no. Roger Ray in second, but there is Madison Fuller. Going for second on Ray. Morandi's back up here. Shane Vincent's now in this. Is he? Yeah, he's on the lead lap. Shane Vincent on Morandi. Into fourth. Madison Fuller trying to go on Connor Monaco for the lead. Not going to get there. Connor Monaco going to keep the lead. Shane Vincent for Ditech trying to take third. He took third, but now he's going to be overtaken by Darren Carter. Lots of switching of positions to the front here, but one thing that hasn't changed in a few laps is Connor Monaco leading this race. There's Diego Yepes. Gonna hold some people up. That's gonna lead Johan Art down the inside, and it's gonna put Connor Monaco on the way outside. That's the Vladimir Petrov treatment right there. From the lead, all getting pushed all the way to the tail end, along with that is Monica Taylor. Uh, Shane Vincent and Sebastian Barandi all being pushed to the tail end of the pack. That's not good for them. But it's great for Johan Art and Vladimir Petrov. Person who got that treatment a little while back. But it's now Johan Art leading. His cousin, John Art, six time winner in elites. Johan, almost a rookie of the year. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Rookie of the Year champion back in Season 2. But now in Season 1 of the Lights, he's trying to get his first career win in either series. Roman Rahal down the inside of Jack Benyaka, but he's going to be challenged very quickly by Darren Carter, who's going to dispose of him and try to go after Petrov. But it's just a two-car battle for the lead now as it's Vladimir Petrov now in the lead. We're lap 31 of 50. This is 20 laps to go in this race. There is Jack Benyako going for third on Melody Bowers and he will get the spot pretty easily. The Dunbar-Vincent crew working together. They are now third. Oh no, Dunbar is a lap car. He's just playing spoiler helping Jack Benyako. Forgot Dunbar was lap car, so yeah, Dunbar, his only goal now should be helping his teammate. And that's exactly what he's doing. Now it's Benyako's turn down the inside of Vladimir Petrov. But now uh, he doesn't have his help anymore. Roger Ray down the inside of lap car, going for fourth. And Ray going to go down the inside of Petrov for third. Maybe down the inside of, yeah, for second. He's down the inside of Jack Benyako. Roger Ray in the second position now, only behind Darren Carter. Oh, big issues for the six car. Oh, Dunbar, I think he's done. I think Dunbar's done now. Trying to get low, Robbins. Oh, Robbins hit him, but they're good. I think that gave some damage to Robbins as well. And I think Robbins is out of the race win. Maybe not out of the race. But Robbins, not what he wanted to happen to him. And that's probably it for Chase Dunbar. And any help that would have been given to Jack Benyako. As now, a big battle. Roman Rahal versus Roger Ray. Probably the two strongest people this season. Rahal, neither of them have won this season. 
Both of them trying to go for that first win. Ray in any series, and Ray Hall going for his first just in lights as he has two wins in elites. But Jack Benyako gonna challenge. This is for fifth. It's still Darren Carter. Petrov just seems to be lurking behind. He doesn't really want to make a move just yet. Just gonna give Darren Carter the time and the lead. But that's gonna lead the 27. That's Jay Durrell down the inside for second on Petrov. And maybe right down the inside for the lead. That seems to be a common move, making two moves in one corner. Looks like he may not get the nose. Oh, yes, he will. Barely. He barely got the nose. Jay Durrell. Um, if you've been watching the elites and keeping up, then you know that Jay Durrell's the one who's probably going to be replacing Fitzwater after he retires after Season 8. Fitzwater has said it himself. Is he's setting his fights on Durrell. But Jack Bignacco now coming back through the pack. And Monica Taylor coming through the pack in her first start. In fifth in her first start. Not bad. Connor Monaco is back after that long trip to the tail end. He's back at the front. Now Jay Durrell in the lead. Jack Bignacco going to be challenging for it. Roger Ray's here. Ray Hall's here. Morandi. A name no one expected to be here. But he is. He could win this race. We're getting close to 10 to go. And this pack is in chaos. But Mo Monica Taylor gets an advantage. Because of the lack car of Yepes. That's going to hold up. Actually, three of the biggest threats to this race. Jay Durrell. Darren Carter. And Roman Rahal, all three of them stuck. Those are probably the biggest three you could see in this race winning it. And now Monica Taylor chased by Connor Monaco, Roger Ray, and Sebastian Mirandi. No females ever won in either elites or lights, and she's trying to become the first, but Roger Ray going to interrupt that. Connor Monaco going to go down the inside as well. It looks like it's going to be Sabre Sport versus Monica Dynasty once again. Roger Ray already got his heart broken from one of these cars, but it was Bouchard last time. Now it's Connor down the inside. Connor Monaco's in the lead once again for his second time this race. There's another lap car. Here we go again. It's Jacob Long. Long is not a lap down though yet. This would be putting him a lap down for his first time. He hasn't been doing too bad for out of a draft 37 8. He's pretty fast. But it's because he's out of a draft that he's losing all this time. And there goes Connor Monaco. And Morandi will follow. Art will follow. Monica Taylor and Jack Bignacco will follow. Ray stuck. That's another big threat of the race gone. I don't think these guys can win anymore. I think it's too late for them. I think it's just down to this front pack as Morandi and Johan Art fight for second. Monica Taylor. Sits back and forth, but has to deal with Jack Bignacco for the time being. But it's Connor Monaco still out front. Now just sitting dormant behind the 31 as Sebastian Morandi making the move for third. Ray Hall making like three moves at once. Oh, this is Roman Ray Hall speed. As he now makes the move on eighth and ninth in one corner. He's up into eighth. Watch out for Roman Ray Hall. He could still win this race. I think it can happen. But there goes Ray. That was a three-way move. Wow. He dove right down the inside of all three of them. Jack Bignacco, Monica Taylor, and Sebastian Morandi. But Petrov is going to do the same and then dispose of Ray. Still, Johan Art is not making this move yet. Could this be the second win this season for Monaco Dynasty? No, maybe not. Here comes Monaco. No, here comes Johan Art down the inside. Ray sitting in fourth with Morandi, two prob the two probably biggest underdogs in SES history. But Ray definitely not an underdog here in lights. He has been blazing fast this season. It's Petrov going for second on Connor Monaco, and I expect Ray to follow. Yes. And maybe dispose of Petrov if he's quick enough. Jack Benyako. 
making some moves now. He's down the inside. Amarandi and Connor Monaco. Ray Hall is now in this thing. Petrov in the lead, but we have lap cars. Coming to seven to go. It's Nut and Griffin going to hold them up. Oh, yes, they will. Oh, Morandi's making moves. Johan Art's making moves, but he'll be held up by Griffin. Ray to the lead. This is a great battle. It's five laps to go here in Texas world. It's Ray to the lead. Ray Hall to second. Monica Taylor going to third. Oh, and that's Melody Bowers. It's two female drivers behind the two most dominant people this season. Roman Ray Hall versus Roger Ray for the lead. This is a fun one. They battle. Roger Ray tries to block Ray Hall. Going to take it anyway. Roman Ray Hall now in the lead. Melody Bowers going for second. Trying to become the first female winner. And so is Monica Taylor. Petrov, don't count him out. Petrov is not out. He's been fast all day long. And he could take this in a surprise move as he's now down the inside of Ray. He's down the inside of Taylor. It's now Ray Hall versus Melody Bowers for first, but no. Petrov right down the inside with help from Benyako. Jack Benyako and Vladimir Petrov, they need to work together now. They need to reach Roman Ray Hall together. They can't be separate here. Or Ray Hall is going to get away. Three laps to go for Roman Ray Hall. And Nexus Motorsports trying to bring home their first win of the season. But it's Petrov down the inside. Benyako going to take him. Ray Hall trying to just hang on on that outside. Trying to beat Benyako to the corner. Not going to get there. I think Ray Hall's out of it now. Ray Hall's going to need a really quick move down to the inside to take it. Oh, Petrov trying to go wide on the lap car. Oh, not going to work. The lap car went wide. Oh, there's a wreck. Petrov around. Taylor around. They're going to battle back to the line. It's Yarn versus Monaco. This is a battle back to the line to the win. Connor Monaco down the inside. Is Can he get the second win for Monaco Dynasty? Monaco Dynasty into the last corner. Can he get it on Johan Arndt before the finish line? Out of the last corner, he will. To the line. Connor Monaco will win in Texas World. And that's the second win of the season for Monaco Dynasty Racing. A huge incident coming to the white flag and the battle back will give it to Connor Monaco Monaco Dynasty now has a win for each of their drivers and Connor Monaco his first career win will follow the footsteps of his brothers well one of his brothers Eric Monaco has a win to his name in elites Connor now has a win in lights if he actually comes back to the line which he should and here it is as it's an official finish Connor Monaco will take the line and then we'll check out this incident but Connor Monaco will take the checkered flag here in Texas world in an exciting finish and that is it Connor Monaco your winner and a winner in the light series congratulations what happened in that last lap incident with Petrov I believe was involved very, very scary incident here in Texas World is coming to the final lap. Ray Hall would get a little too close to Petrov. And Petrov would hit the air and then be slammed by Jay Durrell and would be on his roof. Safety precautions can only do so much. Roman Ray Hall had a very strong performance. Petrov, probably your fastest guy today. And they're both out of the race. Petrov in the medical center. We are pretty unsure that he will be clear. And because of the absolute chaos that ensued on your fine coming to two to go, some of the biggest names today were involved. Darren Carter got a chunk of it. Monica Taylor got a chunk of it. Good, res good performance in her first race, though. She definitely proved that she's here to fight. Jay Durrell, especially. That's a that that car is done. And especially 
the driver of the 24 car. That is Vladimir Petrov. Big, big scary hit for Petrov. And we'll have to check in on him a little later. We'll give you an update. Well, either I will or the old host, uh, Four Frost, will give you the update in the next race because that is very, very scary. Connor Monaco, once again, congratulations on taking your first career win. But Petra, a very scary incident coming to two to go. Huh. Let's go look at your finishing results. And so we end today, Connor Monaco, first career win, and the second one of the season for Monaco Dynasty Racing. Johan Art will come second, just losing it in the last corner. Jack Benyako, good performance all day long. He was fast all day and was able to stay near the front, gets a podium for himself. Um, Odie Bowers was last in points, not sure where she'll be this time. I don't actually have the points standing, so won't really know, but... Uh, Melody Bowers comes in fourth. I know she was last in points, so this was a good result for her today to try to rebound. C.L. Van Aller for Thunder Sport gets a good result for himself today. Roger Ray was just up there all day long, and Roger Ray's going to come on P6, possibly take the points lead after that incident involving the points leader in the final laps. Of the race, Shane Vincent comes home seven. Madison Fuller's eighth. Nathan Orman, 9th, and Tim Randolph will round out your top 10. Roman Randolph still came on 11th for himself because there's a lot of people lapped down today. So I think Ray Hall will remain in the lead. I'm pretty sure about that. So, But this is going to close Roger Ray up. But congratulations, Connor Marco. I sadly do not have the points and positions to show you today, but I could get this race up. Um, we will get an update on... Uh, Vladimir Petrov coming into next race. So uh, this will probably go. This will probably be up on uh, Clover Productions channel. So uh, again, obviously, it's going to be back on Ford Frost after this race and the next race because obviously he's going to be back by then. So congratulations, Connor Monaco, and if I'm correct, Roman Rahal on keeping his points lead. And well, I won't see you next time. He will see you next time. Ciao.